Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create so-called standard session in MVT and how to deal with um, Emacs uh, GIS command line to get some information about um, the data that is being used to start a session in Emacs and how to migrate it to, to MVT. And to do so, first of all we have to run Emacs of course and let's take a look at the default command line so after pressing F2 plus Z we will uh, have um, a command line for running session. So let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, uh, I guess command is divided into three most important parts. So we have a part where we can specify our working directory for our session. Uh, the next element is uh, executable for running a small word session. And the third part is a set of switches that we use to specify the path to our image and some additional uh, switches for example for specifying um, some extension directories and so on okay so uh, let's go back to the desktop and let's start our mdt and now we have to go to the sessions view as I um, showed you in the previous video, we've created um, a so-called runtime, so the set of speci smaller specific uh, variables and executables for running uh, sessions. So we already have a runtime, so now we can create a session. To do so, let's go to the sessions tab of our sessions view and activate the context menu and choose act option new session. After activating our new session wizard, we have to specify the name for our session, so in this case it will be slow. Then we have to specify a small or GIS version. And we can choose a runtime that we would like to use to start our session. In this case we'll use the default one that we created before, so CSE 4.2. Okay, let's press next to go to the second page of the wizard. And here, here we can see that we have to specify a path to our image file and the path to our, our working directory. Okay, so let's take a look one more, more time to, to Emacs uh, on our uh, command line. So we can see that the working directory is pointing to a home environment variable. So this is the path to our working directory and so here we have um, a path to our image file which is swath msf. So in this case uh, we only have to find the place where we have this particular image file and we have to add it to, to our session configuration in MDT. So let's find the image file. Let's go to our small world installation directory. In this case I have I have it on my local drive, so let's take a look at the path. So C small 4.20. Let's go to product directory and images and let's choose Sloth MSF. Okay, so we have a path to our to our image file and we can set a working directory in case of leaving this field empty. Uh, we will use a small word GIS variable value as a path for working directory of the, for this session. So in, the, in this case we can leave it as it is and after pressing finish we will create our session. As you can see the session is available um, in the sessions view. So after double clicking on it we will um, open the so called standard session editor. We can see the overview of the session, we can set um, a lot of different switches uh, that are available for running um, images with use of SW uh, Magic Win32 executable. So after going to, for example, launcher tab of our editor, we can see what is the command line for running this particular session. So we can see that it is very similar to the one that is available in Emacs. So we need to find the appropriate path to image. We already have um, information about SWMagic 22 executable in our runtime. 
and uh, that's it it is very simple we can see the set of um, all uh, available environment variables for this session and in the overview we can specify some additional switches like it is in Emacs for example we have this switch uh, next gear um, available in this command line so we can also specify um, value for this switch uh, in this session um, editor so for example let's take a look where we have this particular switch we have it here so we can specify an image extension area on, on our local drive and with the use of a browse um, button we can specify the path to to this um, uh, to this location okay after saving the changes and after saving the session we can activate the context menu and choose the start option to start the session as you can see the session has been started so we have the console output available and uh, of course let's start the session in Emacs as well so the effect is the same as you can see it was very easy and it's not so hard to migrate to a standard configuration of a session okay thank you